Hello, friends. Um, gosh, it's like really sunshiny. Um, I don't know if it is right now where you are, but there's always sunshine inside of our hearts, <laughs> especially when we take time to play, right? Sometimes we get so up in our head and life gets so dang serious, but, um, you know, one of the reasons for these feathers is just a constant reminder of you know, if one day we expect to fly, we must first take ourselves lightly. So let's just play a little bit today. And um, we're going to play with a fun pose called Asta Vakrasana. Um, and, you know, we just have these few minutes. So, um, you know, it, it's a really good idea to you know, get your hips really open, your hip flexors and your hip extenders. Um, and... Uh, just uh, practice, 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 but I'm going to just break down getting into the pose um, so you can play with it, um, you know, incorporate that into other flows as well, so it's a good party trick too, but I didn't tell you that. All right, so um, sitting, you can start with your legs in front of you, oh, sorry, uh, hope they're not too dirty, <laughs> it's not festival season yet, <laughs> just wait. Um, so we're going to start bending our right knee. I'm mirroring you guys. So then you can pick up your right foot and your left hand and then draw your shin across. So you're going to bring your right knee into your right elbow, your right foot into your left elbow. And rock your little shin, baby. And keep drawing your left toes towards your face, like so. Keeping that left leg active, that's going to help um, further on down. And just notice what happens when you draw your shin more up towards the ceiling. Oh, hello, hip extenders, right? Um, piriformis area, as opposed to down here, you're going to get more of a stretch, right? So, depending on how much time you have, or how much time you make, <laughs> you can open up your hip here. You can also take hold of your right big toe with your peace fingers and kind of draw your leg back. It's like a leg bow and arrow. Right, so just keep getting into that hip. And then you're gonna take your right foot and your left hand, and you're gonna put on your leg backpack strap. So you're gonna bring your knee over your shoulder, right, not over your head, and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder with that knee. The more you can squeeze and the higher up you can get on the shoulder, the more it's gonna help getting into the pose. So here, maybe we stop, maybe this is enough normal pose to have your body in, right? Maybe bring that le uh, right hand out to the side, okay, hanging out here. Keep drawing your left toes in. So if you're here, perhaps then squeeze that right shoulder with your right knee, pressing into your hands, maybe you start to lift, right? And then from here, you can hook your ankles, and it actually gets a little bit easier when you get to this part. And then if your ankles are hooked, then finding chaturanga arms, maybe start to straighten out your legs to the side, right, so, asana prakasana, so we got to do it on the other side, right, I don't want you guys walking out of here sideways, so again, sitting up tall, and uh, then bending, oh, frankincense on the bottom of your feet, really awesome, um, anyways, sparkle, bend your left knee, taking that left foot in your right hand, Draw your left shin across, left knee, left elbow, left foot, right elbow, rock the shin, baby. So again, you can stay here for a bit, opening it up, my hands are slippery. So then maybe bringing that left knee over your left shoulder, squeeze, 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 hug your right foot in, lift, hook, cheddar on the arms, straighten out. Astava Krasana, baby. Sounds like Arnold. Coming back up. So, something for you to play with, have fun, take yourself lightly. Namaste.